At Tanagro, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio. Jason is my co-host. He's not here today, but I am joined by Jesse. Yeah. Aaron. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. And then uh, Harrison and Stella are on the ones and zeros. Harrison's on the ones. Stella's on the zeros. So we're excited. We are in a new location. Uh, we are in the uh, break room of a Bennigan's. How's that sound? Is that good? Great. We got to come up with a location. Jason said the basement of an Asian massage parlor was was a good one. I don't know. That's I had to like drive down this alley. I swear there was like a homeless guy laying beside this trash can. Mice kept going. Yeah. No, that was Jason. That was, was it Jason? Jason? Yeah, that was Jason. I know he was stressing. So yeah, this is a new a location. I don't know if Jason's going to use this or if this is like a teaser for the episode that's coming up next. But uh, we are welcoming. So the number one. The number one guest on Lower Road Radio, without question, is, is Ray Grogan. Ray Grogan is the cornerstone on which Lower Road Radio was built. Ray, I'll always we, say that. We doubled in size after. Definitely. So, um, uh, so Ray's our number one guest, but we're about ready to have another guest on the show, and that's why we're in a new location, because the name of the guy is Dave Landau. Mm. And Dave's like a real person. I mean, he's, he's like, a guy. He's a guy that people know. And uh, he makes a mo- he makes a money he makes some money he makes a living on comedy he's a comedian he's a professional comedian I've seen his stand up he's very funny I've very actually seen funny. him in person stand-up. he um he is um for some reason coming on our show I don't know yeah. why he's coming on our show I still am not gonna believe it. Till I see him walk in. Yeah, and even when he walks in, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, you've seen um, those. Yeah, we'll see. It could be a hologram. Could be a, a like real a deep Tupac fake kind of situation. So, w- um, you you may or na- may not know this if you watch Lower Road Radio, but Jason is the driving force behind the show. I'm the good looks and the talent and just the general mm. charisma of the show. But Jason is the one that makes it happen. He's the producer, the executive producer of the show, and he made not only. If it was just me, I would just be talking, not even into a microphone. Like maybe, right now. Maybe like into my phone or something. Yeah. But um, Jason makes it all happen, and then Jason contacted Dave, and Dave responded. Good on him. Thanks, Dave. Wasn't it just like a, I guess? I don't know, honestly. I don't. I, I was not a part of it. I wish I could have seen the conversation. Twitter conversation. So Dave, Jason's on his way to go get... We are in New Albany, the, uh, the library in New Albany. Built by I think Les Wexner. That guy's yeah. Him. He built everything. Yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. So if it exists, Les, uh, y- you built it. And uh, anyway, we're not going to talk about Les Wexner. No, today. not a not a good guy. Not a good guy. Bad guy. <laughs> rich guy. Very rich. very rich. Mm-hmm. A lot of not money. Not good. Les, if you're watching, you know, and you want to make an show. investment, you know, we'll have him on the show. We'll have anybody on the show. I knew a guy once who yeah. sold land to Les Wexner for some of his enterprises, and the dude made a lot of money. And he, that guy mm-hmm. is a good dude. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I'm glad you that know, he got some money from a lot of money. So, um, so, so, so Dave is doing a comedy show at the Funny Bone in Easton, Ohio. We're, we're flying him in. We're flying him in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Dave's doing this show at the comedy uh, place in Easton, and uh, we are in New Albany, which is adjacent, very close to that. So uh, he agreed while while he's in town, he's got a show tonight. Uh, maybe he had one last night. I don't know, yeah. but he definitely had has one tonight, and uh, he's going to come on the show two tonight. Two so tonight. Jason's picking him up right now, and he's going to come here. Uh, Jason is the executive producer of the show. He um, has given us all pretty strict instructions. Yeah, he's to say he's worried about this show would be the overstatement. I mean, an understatement by far. He texts. He's been texting me every morning <laughs> at like seven a.m. Yeah. for the last couple of weeks. Sure. So don't, remember, don't say mm-hmm. this, 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 or this. For a second, he, you're an idiot. He thought that you weren't going to be here because yeah. there was a miscommunication on the text, and <laughs> um, <laughs> and he was asking. He's like, "Do you think that's better that Jesse's not there or worse?" I was like, "No, nah, I think Jesse's an improvement." He's like, "No." We want him there, but he's so conflicted. He's, yeah, he's so yeah. conflicted. I've, I've never seen him sweat so much, and he's mm. just sitting there. Yeah, he's, like, he's just You should, listen, you guys drenched. didn't see him when he picked me up, so I I had to leave my van. Overalls with my without wife. a shirt underneath? Overalls without mm-hmm. a shirt underneath, That's sweating his profusely. Mm-hmm. And I feel, I kind of feel terrible for Stella over here. Mm-hmm. She was at an all women's event mm-hmm. and he texted her and mm-hmm. she did not reply immediately. And we were there to pick her did up. Did Jason walk in like Jason that? Jason walked into this all <laughs> women's event. In his, in his coveralls, <laughs> no shirt, well, I'm back gonna, hair, what's funny and is, everything. This is, this is 100% true. Yeah, Jason yeah. would totally do that. Oh, yeah, no. I, and I, did to, I ag it on? Uh, 
a little bit. I'm going to have to answer for yeah. this. <laughs> oh, 100%. Because the w- women that was were my in that wife, event, Did you see my wife's expression? I, I did not, in? but I saw the women's expression that were at the table was closest to him, uh-huh. and every one of them was confused. Yeah. As, so, uh, well, you know, you know what? It's So it's Grace and, and Levi are getting married. It was Grace's bridal shower. So welcome to the family, Grace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty welcome. sure one of the mm-hmm. women at the table that looked at him puzzled was Grace's mom. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. She, uh, mm-hmm. she doesn't, they're kinda, proper. She they're, doesn't yeah. understand what we've got well, going on we here. We say they're proper, but in reality, they're just like normal. <laughs> yeah, we're <people>. just <laughs> <laughs> the, the scourge of the earth. And so, the, yeah, yeah, Jason's amped up, and he's given us a lot of instructions. Uh, this is our chance to make it big. <laughs> 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 and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I, I honestly, I'm excited to talk to Dave. Uh, I mean, kind of an interesting thing is Dave is, well, he's a comedian, but it's kind of a lot of dark, offensive humor, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. That his comedy is, which makes sense because his background is pretty rough, yeah. how he grew up and things like that. So, wh- so it would make sense that he would be attracted to dark comedy Offensive comedy makes a lot of sense. So I want to talk to him about that. Questions about how he grew up, things like that. Mostly, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to have a regular show and have a good time together. And, well, it's not going to be quite regular mm-hmm. because I've been instructed to basically not speak at all. You're allowed so to laugh. I'm allowed to laugh, but I can't What's laugh. What's your plan coming in? You gonna- My plan? Mm-hmm. Come in swinging? Uh, <laughs> Come in swinging. <laughs> Listen, just I've been it. thinking about it for the last week. Like, what? Is uh-huh. there a question I want to ask him? Yeah, is there- right. And, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to wing it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I think that's the best I, I think option. That, that That is your sweet spot. It really is. Mm-hmm. It really is. I was, listen, I was going to wear a different outfit. I, I think you texted that yes. out. Yeah, we talked about that. So, yeah, I was, was going to wear a track suit. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was hideous. It was bright orange. Mm-hmm. And it had these stars all over. It had this little logo. And I just thought it was some kind of, like, mm-hmm. I don't know, ghetto logo. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And so I was excited because it was my size, bright orange. I'm like, I'm going to wear this for that podcast. It's going to mm-hmm. be a funny thing. And. Um, I got home and I put it on and I told my 22 year old niece who lives with me I said you're going to love my new outfit mm-hmm. she makes fun of me for wearing track suits and uh, I showed it to her and she just laughs hysterically and I'm mm-hmm. like what's like yeah I know it's funny but like mm-hmm. she was do you know whose logo that is and I was like oh, oh whose no. logo is it a dude named Jeffrey Star do you know who Jeffrey Star uh, is I actually so I knew who he was but I never knew who his name was. I just knew who his face was. Yeah. And then Jesse is he a explained bad guy? it. Do, do you you don't know Jeffrey Star? Well, no. You probably wouldn't. He is YouTube a YouTube famous. Very YouTube famous. He has his own makeup line. He He has his own makeup line. He has line. his own makeup line. He wears he looks like a woman. He's okay. Oh, one of those. Now, listen, I want to give some props to Jeffrey Star because typically he falls on the complete opposite end of all spectrum, right? When you talk mm-hmm. about a man who has a makeup line, wears sure. makeup, of course, looks mm-hmm. like a woman, looks like a woman. He's get, uh, outwardly gay. He's, you know, in most of my life, most of my beliefs, on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. But he is like very outward, like anti-trans, and he. It's weird. It's weird. He falls in this like. Do you know who Milo Yiannopoulos is? I know the name. He he's like a gay conservative. Mm-hmm. You know, he kind of falls in that. And so I did a little bit of research, found out he's actually, Jeffrey has moved to a farm and raises yaks. Mm. So I don't know, maybe he's getting more conservative. But I thought that might be funny to but wear that. But you're not going to wear that. But what I, what I thought was, oh, well, Dave might recognize the symbol. Oh, sure. It'd be a good softball for him. He could make fun of me. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, well, if he doesn't, then I'm just in the middle of Columbus looking like a Fruit Loop. Yeah, that's a true. A big Fruit Loop. And there's uh, this area of this, town. Yeah, so I decided to wear a feminine rubber ducky shirt. It looks instead. good on you. It's a good look. Should we talk about the fact that Jason is picking up Dave right now in a creeper van? Uh, is that worth mentioning? Uh, <laughs> So honestly, if if I'm being 100 percent honest, if I'm Dave Landau, professional comedian, yep. he opened up for Dave Chappelle, right? And he's he's like, like a real guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like Dave is a professional comedian. Um, Did he at least clean the van? A, no, 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 not even a little bit. So if a creeper van comes and picks me up, and I'm that guy, I'm like, you know what? I don't need this. Yeah. I'm doing just fine without you, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I don't need to get in this creeper van with you. So I'm like 50 50. Whether Jason's going to walk in and say, wrap it all up, we're done, we're going home, uh, or he's going to walk in with Dave. If that happens, that's so a I long rode drive here home. with Jason. If that happens, ride I'm riding with you. Okay, guys. Yeah, well, okay, we got you. We'll give you yeah. back. <laughs> that's a long drive home. That's I've a long been drive with home. Jason where he's had a blow up before. Like the oh, drive. yeah, that's true. You have. <laughs> that's true. It, it, it's an unpleasant experience. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jason's very passionate. Yeah. E- Erica said the other day, because Jason was you know lecturing me um, ad nauseum about how to do the show. 
And uh, and after he left, she's like, you know, he's like, you do this all the time. He doesn't need it. I was like, he's my older brother. Yeah. He's been my older brother my whole life. You know, I it's no big deal. I can handle it. You know, so but uh, but yeah, if it's gonna take him a while to get over it, if if Dave won't pick him up, I tried to warn him. You were all here. We might not have a show you for were, a couple. You weeks. were all witnesses. I said we should take the nice car. Yeah. Listen, I drive a 2014 Prius. And that's the nice car. It's the nice car. The <laughs> yeah. parking lot, it has like a whole section that's missing Listen. out of the front where I hit a raccoon. <laughs> Still the Still nicest the nice. car in the parking I, lot. I had to drive, you guys weren't here, I had to drive Jason's van to uh, Kroger to get mm-hmm. some ice for the drinks. Mm. And uh, I was really surprised he let me drive his van. Mm-hmm. But I locked the doors when I got out at Kroger because, you know, we're in, the, we're in Columbus. Mm-hmm. Well, he's his driver's side door is dented. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't unlock from the outside. Yeah. And he does not have like an automatic key fob. It's all mm-hmm. key. And I'm like, luckily I had Harrison with me. Mm-hmm. I was like, Harrison, does this passenger door open? Like, mm-hmm. so Harrison had to unlock his side. But I'm like, I almost yeah. had to leave his van abandoned. Right. And this is the van that he's picking up. This Dave is the Land van Island. that he's picking up. So it, <laughs> an international it's a touring. Internet, yeah. With a, po- with. Back with this, I should say. Yeah, with. This guy has like a big podcast. He's been on some big podcasts. No, he's, he's a he's he's a real guy. Unlike we're just a bunch yeah. of guys. Have, have you ever seen the movies where like they roll up in the neighborhood, the door flies open, a bunch of guys with ski masks come yeah. out? That, That's the van he's see, driving, I, except mm, dented. Yeah. I told Jason <laughs> that worse. it would be really funny if when he picked up Dave, that once Dave gets in the van and mm-hmm. is looking around, kind of like, oh my mm-hmm. gosh, that Jason just pulls the ski mask over his face <laughs> and goes, "All right, <laughs> you ready for this?" He in this honestly. Like, Dave, or, uh, Jason's sense of humor is typically on that line. He did not think that was funny. He, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna drive he by a bank. He's like, I'm gonna run in real quick. You just hop in my seat and be ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the fact, I think Dave would really appreciate that, though. Sure, if you say so. I don't know that he would, because like, he's this never is, met the guy. This is real life. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe in a skit, he might appreciate it. So my prediction is, first of all, 50-50, whether Dave's even going to be here. And you're all my witnesses. I told Jason we should take the nice car. So if it doesn't work out, it's not my fault. Secondly, my prediction for Jason on the show is he's going to laugh more. And and will this episode be funnier? I hope it'll be funnier. We have a professional comedian on. Mm-hmm. But Jason will laugh more on this episode than any time you've ever seen Stop him Stop it. You- <laughs> it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. So Because it's like all of this energy built up to this point will just just it's come gonna out be of nervous him. laughter um no, no no jason's a good actor <laughs> inside he's still <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly inside he will Did still be he raging said? he is so funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what we should do the entire mm-hmm. entire episode wow dave you are really funny wow, you dave, have so you ever funny. thought about so you funny. know going you on the thought? road with that <laughs> so funny <laughs> Yeah, so Jason fake laughs at me all the time. And I know the difference between Jason's fake laugh and his real laugh. I don't think most people do. It's slight, but I know the difference. So um, there's going to be a lot of laughter. He's, we're going to have a good time. Jason's excited. Didn't he convince and he, your he's, mom he's earned that you this. bit you? That, that you bit yeah, yourself we told that story. Like I mean, that? yeah, Jason bit himself on the bus, then ran inside off of the bus and showed mom the teeth marks and said, Dan bit me on the bus. I got <laughs> beat like a stepchild <laughs> that day, and I did not bite him. And uh, my mom didn't find out till we were like 23, 24 years old. So, yeah. I thought you were going to say he bit himself on the butt. Oh, he said bus. I was no. like, whoa. Yeah, but and then that's he, impressive. He, he's uh, yeah. been practicing. Yeah, What's on the, the bus, that, yeah, he was so mad at me. The flexibility thing. Um, I don't know. He does yoga every day. Yoga. <laughs> so Jason really walked into Grace's bridal shower looking yes. like that. Dude, listen. Back hair, and he had a bead of sweat running from his chest fro. And he just... I'm going to hear about this. You have no idea how much I'm going to hear about oh, this. Just when you do... When, when Erica starts, <laughs> Dan, you would not believe what your brother... When she starts yeah. that, say, hold uh-huh. on, sweetie, hold on, pause. Yeah. Call me. Yeah. Put it on speakerphone. Uh-huh. And then... Yeah. I, I want to hear you want to hear it. Yeah. I'm curious. Who are you going to hear about more, from Erica or from Levi? Erica. Erica? Yeah, Levi Erica. ain't going to care. No, Levi he doesn't wasn't there. care. No, he doesn't care. And Grace won't care either. She don't. She, she won't care she at all. She understands. She understands. But, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, you know, Stella, really wish you had answered phone. You know, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you just made Dan's night very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hear about this for a while. But that's okay. You know, Jason is who he is. And that's the thing I appreciate about Jason. You know, He's never not who he is. Except for he's when he's all- fake laughing at me. But other than that, he's but always who he is. If that is part of his identity, sure. as being a fake laugher mm-hmm. at you, then, he's, then he When it comes to me, he's he a trans laugher. You oh. know. Describe. He's a fake laugher. 
<laughs> so I like that. I like that. So anyway, um, so uh, yeah. So I mean, I think um, I don't have Jason on Find My Friends, so I'd love to see him. But um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if he'll like text me. We should call him and be like, call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and then always say, Jason, we have a problem, and then hang mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Ooh. I thought. Oh yeah. That, you yeah, know, he, he might even it. run out of gas on his way back here because his tank was sitting on E when I went to if he, were, if he was out of gas just sitting on s- the highway at 70 on that van with Dave Landau. I mean, Dave would get good material from oh, him. Oh, yeah. It would be like yeah, 15 yeah. minutes. Let's just start recording. His stand-up show uh-huh. would be the best he's ever had. Yeah. It'd be cool to see to see like this from Dave's perspective. Like he probably wouldn't do this, but like if he was just recording when Jason picks him mm-hmm. up, and he's like, "Oh, hey guys, going on?" Like he's on like Instagram. Like, he probably going on a podcast. Yeah, this guy's in the creeper van. I anticipate he he's sending out some like emergency text, like in the van. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. His agent has his Find My yes. iPhone, mm-hmm. you know, location. We should ask him if we could have his I'm location. Really, yeah, Jason would love that yeah. question. I um. Yeah, all of those questions, those ideas you have just make Jason's heart. Yeah. I mean, his heart rate is already going at <laughs> like a, his beats per minute is probably like I went on a run this morning. I think it was on a 166 was my average. <laughs> Jason's probably hovering around 180 yeah. right now. And that's just, that's like steady, just resting heartbeat. Every time Jesse <laughs> opens his mouth, Jason's will go to 250. Well, it probably is already mm-hmm. because like I'm talking. Mm-hmm. And somehow my words are transmitting to mm-hmm. Jason's heart rate. His yeah, blood he's pressure. aware of it. He's mm-hmm. aware. Like right now, he's starting to sweat a lot in the yeah. van. Oh, he doesn't o- know he's why. It over. Mm-hmm. He doesn't he's know why. Over. Yeah, yeah. He, he's already planned out what he's going to say to me if I yeah. say something stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm for it. You Here, know. Here's the thing. I'm I'm very thankful that Jason made this happen. This yeah. is a cool thing that we get to well, do. Might be making so it far, happen. so far. We got this far, so I'm thankful that he made it happen, and I'm really grateful that Dave did it. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. My guess is, my guess is, I don't know, maybe he can clarify, but my guess is that on the way up, Dave had people give him an olive branch, yeah, and so he wants to pay it forward. That's yeah. my guess. Is that's his mentality. And then when we get there, mm-hmm. screw the little people. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm already I'm anybody. That's up. already my mindset. Yeah. So yeah, mo money. I told Jason. Jason was like, "You need to." He's like, uh, "Okay." So I just got a text from Jason. Let's see what Uh-oh. it says. Read it out just, loud. Jason said, um, uh, "No rush, but I'm in the lobby whenever you're ready." That's what he he messaged Dave, and Dave said, "Oh blank, give me about 15 minutes." <laughs> 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 Dave completely forgot that he was even well, coming on here. He saw the, Jason's van and was like, nope. Yeah, he's right no, now he's no, packing all of his no. stuff and going to a different hotel. You notice what Jason did. Jason's meeting him in the lobby. Jason is not oh, oh, like he, he's gonna play Jason's it. first interaction with him is gonna be there in the lobby and then they're gonna be walking to the van. Did he yeah. so put he's his like, shirt on before he went? Well, he was wearing that one button-up yeah, shirt. Because so. I asked him, the second I saw him, I said, is that what you're wearing? And he, I, he didn't even let me finish. He's like, mm-hmm. no, no, I have a shirt. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, good. He's still got his overalls on. Yeah, mm-hmm. he always wears those things. Yeah, so um, so we'll see. So far, so good. There's an interaction. Yeah. Dave's at the hotel. Jason's at the hotel. <laughs> so. Every time, 15 minutes later, Jason's like, all right, like, yeah, I'm still down here. And mm-hmm. He just sends him the same text. Oh, bleep. Give me 15 minutes. <laughs> Fair, Jason was a little early, but... Yeah, he was a little early. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But we, as a people, you know, my brother and I, we, oh. we are early people. Okay. You know, when we grew up, our basketball coach, if if practice started at 8 in the morning on a Saturday, if you weren't there at 7.30, you had to run. Mm. Because you get there at 7.30, you know, you mean you, you get your clothes, you know, set up in the locker, you stretch, you know, you get your water and stuff. So that way practice can actually start at 8. That is like hardwired into our DNA. We are early people. So, yeah, it's no surprise that Jason would be there early. But um, so we'll see. So far, so good. We'll see how it works. Yeah. How, uh, how do you think? I mean, how do you think it's going to go? I'm really curious because you- Dave is – Admittedly, like one of the pitches of our show is that like you can listen to our show in the kids with your car. Yeah. Right. And that'll be just fine. There might be some things that maybe some parents wouldn't like, but yeah, in general, you're welcome. Yeah, Je- it's called Jesse. Yeah. In general, like you can listen to our show with your kids in the car and you'd be just fine. Um, obviously, Dave does not operate on that same. No. You know, M.O. So um, how how it'll go? I don't I don't really know. My I have one goal. I have one goal in this entire enterprise. My only goal is that Dave has fun. Yeah. That's yeah. all I want to happen. So if Dave's, if Dave has a good time, if he's having fun, then I'm having fun. We're welcoming people. Mm-hmm. Okay. We mm-hmm. can. And I don't want him to feel... So part of having fun 
is that you want him, you you want the person to feel comfortable, mm-hmm. you know. And if you want them to be comfortable, you have to be comfortable, right? That's like one of the biggest things for being on stage, like to be a comedian or whatever. Unless it's part of your shtick that you're just like a nervous guy. But in general, if you're comfortable on stage and you're like you're relaxed, then everyone else is going to be relaxed, right? It's a good conversational th- tool if you're like maybe being interviewed, something like that. So we're relaxed, we're having a good time, we're having fun. Dave does this for a living, so I assume he's not going to just sit there like a bump on a log and yeah. let us talk. I can talk. If I have to talk, I can fill the space. I got you know. stuff. I got stuff yeah. to talk about. I brought some things, so I you know I don't want to give away all of my no. you know no, all of my stuff. Keep it but, for the but show. But I'm ready. I'll, I've, I've got a notes folder that's <laughs> that's specifically for Dave. It's not too much because I didn't want to overdo it, but I got some things. I got some. Yeah, things. give us a teaser. You think he's like into like Lord of the Rings things like that? I doubt it. I don't know. I know um, he's not a sports guy. So I listened to one of his newer podcasts. Now he, it was actually an episode where he actually wasn't on it, but his like mm-hmm. co-hosts were talking, and they seemed to be talking an awful lot about like Comic Con and mm-hmm. stuff. Like I I stopped listening to the episode because I'm not into that at all. Mm-hmm. But like his co-hosts were talking about how the culture. He, they said that you have to pay attention to co- the Comic Con culture mm-hmm. because it slips into normal mm-hmm. culture. Yeah, and they start talking about what that means, and I was out, but. I don't know, maybe if his co-host is into that stuff, like he might be into... Maybe. Because maybe. I would say the overlap mm-hmm. of people who are into Comic-Con and people who are into Lord of the Rings and Star Trek and Star mm-hmm. Space and all of that. I'd say it... Star Space? Over. I don't know, man. I'm not into it. Star that. Space. I've never seen thing. a thing of Star Wars. That sounds episode. like a knockoff big time. Let's Star do space. this. You, Star we space. could make a hilarious <laughs> Star Space movie. We should make a Star Space movie. So we, we are going to do a Netflix suggestion of the week. We're going to do a whole show just whole like show. normal. We're just going to do a normal show. Yep, that's the, that's the whole thing. Are so. we clear to to poke at Jason? You should not. I should just not. for your own safety. Okay, okay. you know. So um, <laughs> yeah, Jason told me he's like you can't. He's like don't be a jerk to him. That's what he told me. Because <laughs> sometimes I think he's noticed that I t- I tend to talk down to people sometimes. You well, know? especially you live if they're in a like loft. above you. Well, yes, I live in a loft, and a couple of times <laughs> that we've had people on before, like I think it's funny to kind of like. I don't know, like own the conversation a little bit sometimes. It'd be like, or if I get a sense that somebody is just doesn't have it, like I'm not going to just let you, yeah. like if anybody's going to ruin the show, I'm going to ruin the show. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let you You're going to be the, the guy show. that says something that gets us canceled. Yeah, that's the idea. So so Jason's like, you know, you just he's like, don't do that thing that you do where you like talk down to people. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. But Jason, like if he comes in here and if he's like a jerk, I was like, I don't know how to yeah. stop myself. Like if he's, but but I'm quite sure Dave's not a jerk. The yeah. very fact if he makes it all the way to the New Albany <laughs> Library in Jason's creeper van, after Jason runs out of he's gas, he's a solid human you being. Know, yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah all, the adventure that him and Jason are about ready to go. Oh yeah, through. if he can if he can hang with Jason, he, mm-hmm. he's, by the time he's, he's made it in. here, he's gonna like I. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be just the the, the scenario that's <laughs> running through his brain right now. He's, if he's like, if this is the guy, yeah. and this is the car that they sent to pick me up, <laughs> this is the face of the show. What on God's green earth kind of like, like mutant This is either going weirdos. to be the best podcast I've ever been on, or I am going to die. Like, like, he's going to get like 20 minutes tonight like off of his special. Yeah. He's going to be like, you guys are not going to believe what happened. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be fantastic. If it was like, oh my mm-hmm. gosh. Or if he like turns some scenario from today into, into like something. A whole for like a chunk. Netflix special mm-hmm. or something. That would be, be awesome. awesome. That would be awesome. Hey, listen, I'm all for it. So if we can help him in any way at all. You we just what, want him to have a good you time. You know what I thought about doing Yeah. Uh, for a second? Knowing that Jason was super concerned about me saying something stupid. Mm-hmm. Still is. Uh, mm-hmm. like he still is. I I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit concerned about I'm it. I'm not going to say a but whole <laughs> lot. Do we know if he's even seen the show? Well, he's been j- tagged a lot. He's been tagged. I know lady. that Jason, I think, well, oh gosh, that's a good question. We should ask him that question. Yeah. I assume he watched enough of it to be like, okay, this is like a real thing. Yeah. I'm know. sure Jason's going to ask him on the way over. Like, yeah. He's yeah. going to give him the rundown. Uh, and he's, yeah. he's going to give a lot of I warnings. Can't I wish he's Jason, like, all right, listen, listen. Dave. I almost wish that he just kind of walked in and just looked at us for the first time. I would like to set up a camera in, in that van in just van. to hear that conversation. Yeah. I'd listen, I'd contemplate it because knowing how worried Jason was mm-hmm. um, and knowing, like, I think Dave is probably, I mean, he's, he's a very, has a big sense of humor, right? Mm-hmm. And so I thought about reaching out to, to 
to Dave, like on Twitter, oh, and independently, like, hey, independently, and be like, "Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm on the show, and I just like you know, just one, we're really, it'd be really nice. Be like, mm-hmm. I'm really appreciative. You know, we're we're excited mm-hmm. to have you. But Jason is freaking out because mm-hmm. I say some stupid stuff, and mm-hmm. and so I was thinking maybe we set up Jason. Yeah. Like prank him, like with the second Dave comes oh, in, man. I say I, something. I don't think that would go over well. And then, at all. and like no. Dave walks out, and Jason throws a fit, and then Dave pops back. He's like, "Ah, gotcha." No. Or something along the lines of, "I know Jason really wants this. You know, mm-hmm. like he probably wants this to blow up this podcast to blow mm-hmm. up more than any of us." Yeah, sure. And so, you know, I think that that he's a fun. Jason's a funny guy, mm-hmm. but also maybe even saying to Dave, like, "Hey, Dave, I'm not going to say much during the podcast, mm-hmm. but when I do, you laugh uncontrollably, <laughs> and then at like, the end of the podcast." Ask me if I would come open up for you or come be oh, on your podcast yeah, sure, sure. and leave Jason out. Like, mm-hmm. and just watch. I thought about doing all those things. Yeah. And then I thought maybe I actually would scare him away. And Jason so I just would let it go. Jason knows where you live. He would murder yeah. you. He does know where I live. And he knows yeah. and he knows how to dispose of a body. He like I know when him tips. We would all know that he murdered you, but yeah. the cops would never find well, out. Well, there's a hog farm right behind my house. Mm-hmm. So just Bam, there it is. Yep. I wonder how he'd get me out there, though. I'm a big guy. He'd find a way. They're just the rage would take <laughs> yes. him the whole way. He wouldn't yeah. even remember he would, it. He would use his van and he would just drag you. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. So, so we hope it goes well. Um, you know, it's it's a quarter till now is the the appointed time that Jason said he was supposed to pick him up. So we'll see how it goes. Um, Jason should be picking him up right now. Um, I got I got some notes. I don't have too much because I didn't want to overdo it because I'm trusting that he is uh, he's ready to talk. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Part of my, if I'm just being honest, I mean, I think you guys know this. I've always had like this thing in the back of my head that says, I think I could be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. I know that being a stand-up comedian is probably one of the five hardest jobs in the world. Like you're going up in front of a crowd of people that are like, make me laugh. Yeah. Right? That's hard to do. And and to do it in a way that's like original, that's like I'm not just telling someone else's jokes. I'm coming up a way with a way to make you laugh when you're waiting to laugh. That's like I almost can't even imagine something harder yeah. than that. But there's something in me that's always said, I think I could do it, you know? That's called arrogance. That yeah, <laughs> it is called arrogance. And uh, and I still maintain that arrogance and I've not let it go. So there's like a, a little part of me that like has like a scenario like here it is like when i was a kid and we used to go to baseball games um and i would always bring my glove and we go to the outfield there was always a part of me in the back of my head that said there's like a chance that like you know i play catcher there's a chance that the catcher gets injured and they're like does anybody play catcher (laughs) and then i would run out there be like i could do it and then i would start like playing baseball. His drummer got hurt. Is there anybody yeah. in this that can keep a 4-4 four, right. four beat? Honestly, let, yeah, if I'm at a concert, I'm like, you know what? I could play the acoustic guitar. Like, I could do it right now for you guys. So there's like that part of me. So that same part of me exists and that, that is is uh, has played out this scenario in my brain that we just have a good time. It's like same thing that you had mentioned earlier with you. And afterward, Dave's like, you know what? Like, I think you got the chops got to it. be a stand up comedian. Juice. Why don't I you come call open my up? agent? <laughs> mm-hmm. So if he asked me, like, I figure there's like a one person chance that he's going to be like, you know what? <laughs> so you're me why don't you open what for you me should tonight? Do is be like, hey, I've been working on this stand up. That's like- one of the things I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I what I'm mm-hmm. going to do is I'm going to say, hey, Dave, I know you're a funny guy. Mm-hmm. You do it for a living, sure. But I got a really good joke that you need to add into your set. Oh, I'm sure he never gets tired of that. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he never hears it. I'm sure. And but listen, I got some good jokes. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a really good Hitler one. Yeah, sure. I think he might really like it. Yeah, that's not your joke though. Like you know, what like you, you found it online, didn't you, or something? No, I came up with it because I'm a terrible person. Okay, you are a terrible person. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So yeah, there's part of me I want to talk to him about my uh, comedy aspirations and say I'm 40. What am I? What is so? One. This year I'll be 42. I'll be 42 in July. It is July. In like next Friday. Crap. Less than a week? Right? I, I, I really wish you wouldn't have I done did that. not buy you anything. Because now I'm I don't so have sorry. any plausible in, deniability in, not knowing it was your birthday. In less than a week, I'll be 42 years old. Is it too late to get into comedy? Well, Are you older than him? He's that, 41. Dave? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm really? I'm pretty sure he said it on a... Or wait, no. He, that's a different podcast, different guy. Never mind. I'm an idiot. All right. I'm going to Google it. That way we can bombard Yeah, look him. up. Someone he, find he out a twin how... twin brother. Do you know that? Dave does? Yeah. I have a twin brother. That's what IMBD says. Really? I am well, I, I have a twin. I don't know if... if had. He absorbed his twin. I don't know if I would resorb the, the other fetus. He has a full-grown man and a fetus. And a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Dave Landau. Four uh, years old. Actor. What is 1979, he? 1975. Oh, he's Jason was born in 79. <laughs> no, it's what? Uh, no, no. He was he was born June 9th, 1983. Oh, yeah. he's younger than us. Yeah. So yeah, another guy named David, another Landau. David Landau. <laughs> hmm. It it's, probably is too late for you then. So he's he's younger than us. Oh, geez, that's weird. Am I old? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm old. Like, ooh, what? No, nothing. Okay. Oh, he he found some dirt. And he's so he's how old is he? <laughs> yeah. So how he was born in eighty three? You said. Uh yeah yeah. So he's forty. He's forty. Forty. He's in 40 years months. old. In two months, he'll well, be 40. He's 39 years old. No, 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 no. He was born June 9th, 1983. Oh, he's so 40. he's 40 years old. He just and turned 40. 40. Yeah. So I guess what I want to know is at 42, <laughs> living in Marion, Ohio, you know, not exactly a comedy hub, do I have any chance of getting into comedy? We and, do have a famous person from Marion, okay? So don't write it off. Uh, Warren Harding? The president. <laughs> okay. You know, there used to be that one guy uh, used to hang out at the bar in Marion. Um, what's that guy that used to smash pumpkins and stuff? Oh, Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher. Yeah, he, he comes to, to Marion quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, he used to hang out in Marion. You got Dave Landell's net worth on here. Oh, He's been type in. We should ask region. him how we're accurate not, that is. We're not, we're not gonna <laughs> so talk. Dave. Jason would lose his Oh, mind. he would. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to reserve this mm -hmm. for halfway through the show if it seems like it's going pretty well and, mm -hmm. and things seem good. No. Like, so, Dave, you know. I don't think I'll anybody likes that question. <laughs> Are you really worth... What is it? It says $2 million. Yeah, but net worth and like money in the bank are oh, two yeah, different completely things, different. Right? Okay, yeah. He has a bunch of he, real estate. He has a large portfolio, okay? <laughs> He's smart. He has multiple streams of income. So yeah, I have not... Diversified. I've not gotten another text yet from yeah. Jason. So I think, fingers crossed, they'll be here any minute. So let's just go ahead and shut this down oh. so that way when they walk in, we Baby are... Baby Bird um, has landed. We're not recording, so... <laughs> All right, this is Dan. Just, oh. I'm really hoping that this goes well. Signing his, off for everyone who's here. Yeah? His, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm not going to bring this up. Good. Hopefully he doesn't listen to it. His wife's name is Martin. Really? Yeah, Martin. Hmm. I didn't know that was a female name. <laughs> Can I ask him about that? No. 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 Uh, I don't want it. Yeah, I think, you know, silence is golden for you today. Except yeah. for the laughter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut it down. We're done. <laughs>